Hello everyone and welcome back or welcome to uh, another lesson video. Today uh, we will read an autobiography and before that let us look at this picture here. On top it says that there is a battle of two wolves inside or us all, right? So there is a continuous battle. It's like a contest or a fight between these two wolves inside all of us. Now, one wolf is evil, it is anger, jealousy, greed, resentment, lies, inferiority, and ego. So all these are destructive emotions. And the other wolf is good. It is joy, peace, love, hope, humility, kindness, empathy, and truth. So these all are uh, the good uh, emotions that which we should develop. So the word humility means you uh, are in a state of humbleness, right? So you are gentle and meek and down to earth in your nature. So the question is, which one, right? Which one out of these two will win? Okay? Which one will win? Now, think of your answers. I'll answer this question at the end of this lesson. So today, uh, the lesson we are going to read is known as the Summit Within. So the word Summit means the highest point of a mountain or a hill normally, or it's the highest point of, a, uh, of a something, okay? And here we are talking about the highest point which is within ourselves, okay? We are not talking about uh, mountains or hills here, we are talking the highest point within ourselves. And uh, this one uh, is about Major PHS Aluwalia, who was a member of the first successful Indian expedition to Mount Everest in 1965. So expedition means a group uh, or a single person who uh, moves on a long trip normally. Okay, so they started climbing Mount Everest and that trip is going to be like four months. That's an expedition and... Uh, Major Aluwalia was one of a member of that expedition. How did he feel when he stood on the highest point in the world? So when he was on the summit, when he was on the peak of Mount Everest, how did he feel and how he expressed it? Let us hear his story in his own words. Climbing the summit and then the more difficult task of climbing the summit within. So physically, he has all the uh, strength to climb the summit of Mount Everest, but then the more difficult task is to climb the summit which is within ourselves. Okay, so let us start. Of all the emotions which surged through me as I stood on the summit of Everest, looking over miles of panorama below us, the dominant one, I think, was humility. So uh, when he was standing on the summit of uh, Mount Everest, he felt multiple emotions there, but the highest uh, and the most dominant, most powerful emotion was that of humility. Okay, as I said, humility means uh, the quality of being modest. You are low and down to earth near the ground. The physical in me seemed to say, thank God it's all over. However, instead of being jubilant, there was a tinge of sadness. So the physical body is saying, thank God it's all over because he had... Uh, an ordeal of climbing the mountain but then instead of feeling happy instead of feeling very happy jubilant there was a tinge there was a trace or a shade of sadness within his um, multiple of emotions which surged there was it because i had already done the ultimate in climbing and that there would be nothing higher to climb and all roads hereafter would lead down now why is there this little part of sadness uh, within him is it because he has now climbed the ultimate right the final or the most difficult uh, point of climbing in the world and from that submit from mount from the top mount everest now every road which you take will hereafter would lead down and never go up so is it the because, uh, reason why he is feeling tinge of sadness there by climbing the summit of Everest, you are overwhelmed by a deep sense of joy and thankfulness. So after climbing the summit, once you have successfully climbed it, there will be an overwhelming sense of joy and thankfulness. Overwhelming means very powerful emotion will be there, which controls you. 
it is a joy which lasts a lifetime so the joy that you feel that time will uh, be forever there for eternal the experience changes you completely the man who has been to the mountains is never the same again so according to major aluwalia a man who has been to the mountain especially high mountains when he or she comes climb down then the personality or the life of that climber has completely changed as i look back at life after climbing i cannot help remarking about the other summit the summit of the mind no less formidable and no easier to climb so when he talk about climbing the everest he also cannot help himself and not talking about the summit the highest point of the mind which is no less formidable formidable means something which is difficult to defeat like a formidable opponent right so it's not that easy to reach the summit of mind and it's not easy to climb as well so you need training and practices all along even when getting down from the summit once the physical exhaustion had gone i began asking myself the question why i had climbed mount everest so there was physical exhaustion physical exhaustion means tiredness okay body was completely tired but then he began asking himself why he had climbed everest why did the act of reaching the summit have such a hold on my imagination it was already a thing of the past something done yesterday with every passing day it would become more remote and then what would remain would my memories fade out slowly away so he is talking about why he chose to climb everest and now that with every passing day as the days passing uh, his memory would become more remote more remote means more distant and more disconnected and then his memory would slowly fade away slowly disappear and reduce in its size all these thoughts led me to question myself as to why people climb mountains so all these different thoughts pushed him to ask this question why people climb mountain it is not easy to answer this question the simplest answer would be as others have said because it is there now the most common answer was because mountains are there they climb it right it presents great difficulties and mountains it they present obstacles and adversities there man takes delight in overcoming obstacle now this is a particular sentence which uh, states the general habit of man man likes to overcome and compete in uh, what's a difficult situation and when they overcome when they be- came out successfully they take delight in it they become happy and jubilant the obstacles in climbing a mountain are physical right so the problem that one faces when we on climb mountains are physical a climb to a summit means endurance persistence and will power so endurance means physical ability to withstand persistence means the fact that you are uh, continuing even in the face of difficulty and will power means your intention how is it strong the demonstration the show of these physical qualities is no doubt exhilarating as it was for me also so those when you show all these qualities when uh, climbing the mountain it is no doubt exhilarating it's no doubt very exciting to show all these uh, qualities physical qualities as he had also felt it when he climbed everest i have a more personal answer to the question so the question was why people climb mount everest right or mountain from my childhood i have been attracted by mountains i had been miserable lost when away from mountains in the plain so uh, to the uh, according to the uh, author personally as a child he loves mountains right he is attracted to it and he feels very sad and lost when he is away from mountains in the plain region he says mountains are nature at its best so mountains are nature's best things their beauty and majesty pose their beauty and huge pose a great challenge and like many i believe that mountains are a means of communion with god so he believed that mountain is like a tool uh, which can help you connect with god okay
once having granted this the question remains why everest because it is the highest the mightiest and has defied many previous attempts now we asked this question why they climb mountain now the second question is why everest then okay because everest is the highest mountain there and it is mightiest mightiest means more powerful and it has also uh, rejected and defied many previous attempts so many climber mountaineers have uh, tried to make uh, climb mount everest but then they were failed to do so so that may be the one reason it takes the last ounce of one's energy last portion of one's energy will be required and it is a brutal struggle right with rock and ice so when you climb it is a struggle which is uh what say merciless once taken up it cannot be given up halfway so once you are on the way up to the summit of everest you cannot give up in the middle right even when one's life is at stake even when your life is at danger at stake the passage back is as difficult as the passage onward the way back is as difficult as the way onwards upward and then when the summit is climbed there is the acceleration there is this excitement the joy having done something right you feel joy when you have completed something the sense of a battle fought and won the f- there is a feeling of victory and happiness so once you overcome once you overcome a difficulty or an obstacle you feel victorious and you feel a sense of happiness there because you overcame an obstacle glimpsing a peak so glimpsing means taking a look at the peak into the distance so once he's on the top as he look down he get i get transported into another world i experience a change within myself which can only be called mystical so when he was having this view to the other peaks at the distance he felt a change within himself and he called it mystical mystical means spiritual chaitanya or yoga by its beauty why because of the beauty that it holds and the aloofness aloofness means away from distance right remote so because he was far away from the general uh, cities and towns he feel aloofness and beauty and might the power and the ruggedness ruggedness means rough uh, quality of the mountains and the difficulties encountered faced on the way the peak draws me to it as everest did so the other peaks the highest summit of other mountains also attracted him it is a challenge that is difficult to resist so this challenge is difficult difficult to uh, turn away difficult to reject looking back i find that i have not yet fully explained why i climbed everest okay so he has not fully yet explained why mount everest it is like answering a question why you breathe so he compared answering this question like why you breathe why do you help your neighbors why do you want to do good act there is no final answer possible so he says that there are many different uh, questions where uh, to which you cannot have a final answer right a final possible answer just like that the question to why he climbed everest has no final answer and then there is the fact that everest is not just a physical climb now when you climb mount everest he's saying that it is not just physical climb you're not physically climbing it the man who has been to mountain top becomes conscious okay so the man who has been to mountain tops become conscious means aware of oneself in a special manner of his own smallness in this large universe so once a person has climbed to the summit or the peak of a mountain he feels he becomes conscious and aware conscious means aware when you know yourself he knows that he is a small creature a small human being in this large universe and therefore the author felt humility there the physical conquest of a mountain is only one part of the achievement so the physical uh, battle is only one part there is more to it than that okay it is followed by a sense of fulfillment so once you reach there it is not just physical um, contest there okay you also feel a sense of fulfillment within there is the satisfaction of deep urge to rise above one's surrounding so you feel satisfied after getting up uh, uh, get, uh, after rising right from one surrounding it is the eternal love for adventure in man so man's takes man uh, takes delight in uh, what's it 
overcoming obstacles and adventures so it's an eternal love for that and the experience is not merely physical not only merely means only right so the experience is not physical it is emotional and spiritual as well so he also uh, talks about the summit within right so there we're talking about the emotional and spiritual uh, achievement consider a typical climb consider a normal climb towards the summit on the last heights you are sharing a rope with another climber so imagine that you are on a typical normal climb and to the summit of a last height and then you are sharing your rope with another climber you firm in right you put your uh, ropes and all this put together he cuts the step in the heart eye so he makes uh, areas to put your hand, feet and foot on then he belays belays means he fixes the rope and inch you way up and he pulls you up the climb is grim so the climb is not really nice it's uh, grim in its nature you strain every nerve as you take every step so you strain means you stretch yourself you pull your muscle every time you take every step towards or on top of the summit famous climbers have left records of help given by others so their famous climbers when they reach the top they leave records uh, as a form of token to the helpers they have also recorded how they need just that help else they might have given up so without the help of others they might have given up their journey B breathing is difficult right you curse yourself for having let yourself in for this so you blame yourself why you chose to come on uh, this uh, expedition to Everest, right? Because it's a difficult one. You wonder why you ever undertook the ascent, why you ever undertook this climb. There are moments when you feel like going back. It would be sheer relief. It would be a complete relief to go down instead of up. But almost at once you snap out of that mood. But almost you come out of that mood. There is something in you that does not let you give up okay because of the difficulty uh, you wanted to get out of it and you go on you keep on you what's it you are persistence right in spite of difficulties you are still moving on your compass companion right your friends and other fellow mates keeps up with you just another 50 feet or 100 maybe you ask yourself is there no end you look at your companion and he looks at you you draw inspiration from each other and then without first being aware of it you are at the summit so when you are climbing it is very difficult almost impossible to climb alone we, we need companions and these companions will give you inspiration when your moral is low looking round from the summit you tell yourself that it was worthwhile so once you reach at the summit you tell yourself that it was worthwhile it uh, has its value and you have sacrificed your physical ex uh, ability for this uh, and this is um what's it uh, justifiable it is worthwhile other silvery peaks so other Summit of other mountains appear through the cloud. If you are lucky, the sun may be on them. The surrounding peaks looks like a jewel, jewel necklace around the neck of your summit. So he is now describing and comparing the peaks and the sun to a necklace which is uh, around your neck. Below you see a vast valley sloping into the distance. It is an ennobling and enriching experience. So you feel great, right? The experience will make you rich with ex uh, knowledge and it will make you uh, and uh, it will ennoble you, right? To just look down from the summit of mountain. You bow down and make. So once you reach there, you bow down yourself as a form of respect. I left on Everest a picture of Guru Nanak. So his uh, in his religion guru nanak is uh, i would say uh, a particular saint so he left his picture ravat another climber left a picture of goddess durga pudorje left a relic of the buddha so relic means an ancient religious uh, object Edmund Hillary had buried a cross. So a cross is what they carry like this. You might have seen this in the movie. And they, he buried it under a crane, a, creep, a heap of rocks. So rocks are placed together and he buried it under it in the snow. So these are not symbols of conquest. So these are not simple that they have uh, conquered. They have uh, 
overcome the obstacle but of reverence but of deep respect for their uh, religion okay the experience of having climbed this submit changes you completely so he has been saying this and repeating this quite often that once you climb a mountain that will change your complete experience there is another submit it is within yourself it is in your own mind each man carries within himself his own mountain peak he must climb it to reach to a fuller knowledge of himself it is fearful and unscalable it cannot be climbed by anyone else you yourself have to do it the physical act of climbing to the summit of a mountain so you see what he's talking about now he's talking about the summit which is within and he says that each man has uh, a mountain peak within oneself and he must do it by himself because no one else will help you uh, and the summit is fearful you will become fear scared and then it is unscalable right we don't know the height of it outside is akin to the act of climbing the mountain so it's similar uh, akin means similar to the act of climbing a mountain within the effects of both the climbs are the same so once you climbed any of these submit the effect the result is same whether the mountain you climb is physical or emotional and spiritual the climb will certainly surely change you it teaches you how much about the world and about yourself so the climb be it uh <laughs> would say uh, the uh, summit within or the summit uh, outside it will teach you much about the world and it will change you completely i venture to think that my experience as an everester has provided me with the inspiration to face life's ordeals resolutely so he thinks okay he accepts that uh, the experience of climbing the everest has provided has given him inspiration and power to face life's painful experiences very confidently okay so all deals will be there in our life and then you need to face it and then uh, overcome it so he says that the experience has provided him these inspiration and qualities climbing the mountain was a worthwhile experience so worthwhile means full of value right some suppose you buy a new laptop and then the laptop doesn't work properly so it's not worthwhile if it works um properly as you have paid it so then it is worthwhile and the experience of climbing the mountains was worthwhile because he learned many thing and his personality was completely and sheer change was there the conquest so the battle of the internal summit is equally worthwhile so even if you don't climb the mountain if you try to climb the summit which is within it is equally worthwhile the eternal internal summits are perhaps higher than everest so he says that maybe right he's not sure as he said that it is unscalable the internal summit the summit within oneself is maybe perhaps means maybe higher than the everest so comparative form is used here and written by p hps aluwalia all right so with this this uh, particular lesson finishes here okay we have some questions and answers here uh and uh, you can do it by yourself it is in your textbook in case there's any question feel free to ask